Alright, so uh, finally uh, got my header done. Now I need to uh, install my uh, exhaust. So uh, obviously when you install exhaust, you need uh, some uh, uh, header gasket. Three of them, obviously. Um, I'm sorry for the darkness. This is sort of the mid of the night. Okay, here kind of, you know, got home kind of late. Uh, so usually when you put the header gasket on there, normally it doesn't stay. You know, it usually, lots of times it falls off. So what helps is that you dab a little bit of grease on the top edge uh, of the uh, of the gasket. So I'm gonna dab a little bit of grease in there. Just a little bit. Doesn't, doesn't need much. Uh, that you know, using uh, I'm using bearing grease. Um, and that that tackiness of the grease, that thick tackiness of the grease will hold the. Uh, top in place so basically I have I have the top of the uh, gasket up here um, top of the gasket greased all right so so the gasket stays in place now I can position my header in place so I can do this without hitting the uh, hitting the camera See how good I could do. Again, sorry for the the light. I just don't have. No, I didn't quite get home in time. Okay, so basically now they're positioned in place. Are recessed. Uh, the mounting, the mounting bracket. I'm gonna slip that on. From there, obviously the nuts. Right. And when you put this on, don't you know? Don't, don't tighten it down. Just get on enough so that it holds everything in place. Um, you definitely don't want to tighten it down yet. You want to have it loose enough that there's plenty of wiggle room um, for you to kind of wiggle things around a little bit. Last one, no, actually second to last. Yeah. Oops. Great. Oh. Haven't ridden my bike in a few weeks now, and I have all this spider web everywhere. Definitely spider season. There's like spider webs everywhere. I'll take this thing on a ride tomorrow.
fit my fingers in there. Let me put this on here. Close enough, and I still could, you know, you can still, still see my, my, uh, the thoughts wiggling. So that's good, that's what I want. Let's move the camera back a little bit. Let's move the light back and out. Alright. So now for the bottom side, or the, uh, excuse me, the back side, where the, uh, um, The month is going to be so here. I have uh, oops, Let's see where the end of the can is right there, right? And the header, I have I have the catalytic converter. Here's the catalytic converter. Mm -hmm. So there's two sides to the catalytic converter. There's a uh, there's a shorter side and a longer side. The longer side is going to be the shiny stainless steel, and the shorter side I'm not sure what what, what kind of metal this is. What, you know, if it's just straight steel or what, but but it's not stainless. Um, so uh, how it goes is the the short side the short side here will end up going into the muffler, and the the long side or the stainless side goes into the header. So I'm actually gonna probably put this in this way. Probably be easier, I think. Let's see. I think my header got a little bit, or my pipe here got a little. Um, A little bit twisted. You know, let's see. Yeah, I got a little bit warped slightly. All right, left end. So it's kind of elongated. So basically, these two ends here, so you guys can see that these two ends for my, my fingertips are, are, are kind of egg shaped out. It's probably caused by. By me welding in this uh, bung bung here, you know, it was rounded before. This thing, this thing just slipped in real easy. So, uh, so I think that's what caused it, caused this thing to kind of warp a little bit. So now, it's basically I have to just kind of squeeze this in, um, and hopefully I can just kind of slide this in a little bit. There it goes. So, so it's not that you know, it's not that elongated, right? So. Stick that in all the way till to, to it's flush. Now, Aquaprovic, uh, Aquaprovic says to put this in the muffler first, then slide it in. But I think this way is easier. Um, at least I think, anyways. So, so that's in. Uh, I think I'm at the 10 minute mark. I'm gonna, well, close to the 10 minute mark. I'm gonna stop the video and, uh, and put it in the can. Alright, so uh, stay tuned for part two.